Welcome to How You Living. I am Robin B. How are you, Dr. Kiva? I am well. Great. How are you doing I'm today? I'm doing great. Thank you. And of course, How You Living is all about wellness. That's what we focus on week after week. Exactly. Because we want you to be able to have all the information and all the knowledge. To live your best life. To live your best life. <laughs> that's like right. That, isn't that the saying, live your best life? That's right. Living my that's, best life. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And so we have been talking about, last week we talked about all things fitness. Fitness. Physical and the, fitness and how The it, wellness and oh, right. the spirituality the spirit. aspect of mm -hmm. it. And all the benefits of being physically yes. fit. So we hope, we hope that that show motivated you to do something. Yeah, we're going to be testing you guys. <laughs> There'll be a pop quiz. Uh -huh. send, send pictures of yeah. you doing something. Yeah, before and afters. <laughs> yeah, or even more so, you can hashtag us on Instagram saying, like, living my best life. Absolutely. And doing some physical activities. That would be great. We, we're still going to give out. We haven't given out any rewards yet, but we have some stuff that we're happily give to anyone that's participating in what we're doing here. Yes. So uh -oh, that would that be means great. we got to come up with a challenge. Um, so look out for us having a challenge for you guys next show. Absolutely. And by the end of this show, I think we're going to have, <laughs> and that's because of today's guest. Oh, so I who do, who do we get, have today? We have the amazing Mr. John A. Mitchell. Oh, you didn't even know the A part. Ah, that's right. I think <laughs> I, I, if he says A, I'm going to respect that and put that A in it. But um, Mr. Mitchell is a very strong fitness Guru, <laughs> welcome to the show, Mr. Mitchell. Thank you, ladies. Hey, Glad to be here. we're Glad happy to have, have you here. We have a fitness here. guru. Yes, and you really are, right? Thank you. Thank now, you. now, did you compete as well? Yes, I've pretty much done it all in okay. fitness. I've so, competed quite a few times. Wonderful. So, tell us about you. Who are you? <laughs> How much time you got? <laughs> right. As much time as you need. Right. Well, I started um, years ago training uh, when I was eighteen. Mm -hmm. I was in the band, TSU. Ocean of Soul, marching band, young lady said, oh, he's fine. <laughs> Somebody gave me a compliment right. before I even started working out. Mm -hmm. And when I heard that, who, me? <laughs> so I immediately started working out <laughs> then when I was 18. Uh, I've been working out ever since. Never saw the girl again. Don't uh -huh. know who she is. But look what she did. But uh -huh. she motivated me. Yeah. She was your catalyst. Right. She thought I was fine. And However I look back right. then, mm -hmm. and like, that's oh what started. Oh that's amazing. So I started working One out. word can really <laughs> one be word. A, can the change, power change my whole of life. The, woman. the power of the woman and the power of the word. That's right. <laughs> a word from a woman. Hello. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. So she said, okay, you said, okay, I'm going to up you. Oh. I'm not sure. I'm not no, sure, sure how fine I can be. I never saw her again. Couldn't that's find her. Interesting. But I've been working out ever since. That's amazing. And so that's yeah. been how long? Like um, 10 years. 10 years? No, I've been working out for like 30 years. So you are the CEO of? <laughs> fat Body Sports Training. Okay, and now what is mm. fat? It's not fat like we all thought it was. Like, pretty you know, hot and tempting. Pretty hot <laughs> pretty and tempting. No. Remember when they said it's that? Not it's not pretty hot and tempting. It's not pretty hot and tempting. That's what they're going to end up when yeah. they finish, right? When you finish with us. People having all that. Okay. People, people have having people. the ability to uplift somebody else. That's oh, what it's all about. That's great. People being all of that within yourself. And I can, I have to uplift myself, then I can uplift you. That's great. People have it all. So you have to take care of yourself mm. before you can take care of right. anyone Everything else. Everything is spiritual for me, my right. whole makeup. So, so you so agreed with did, our last so show. When we fat Body about. started when? Because it's been around for Has some been around years, for a while? right? Yeah, it's been around since 2004. Okay. My first gym started in 98, when I first started in 98. Okay. I bought a gym from somebody. Went to the pawn shop, saving, mm -hmm. buying one piece of equipment at a time lay away, <laughs> just hoping for the opportunity. Right. Somebody was selling a gym, mm -hmm. and he let me pay payments. That's awesome. And I never looked back. Owner finance, yeah. <laughs> basically. That never happens, but yeah. So where is your uh, gym located? This one here is uh, 10315 West Airport. West Airport, West oh, Airport. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's mm -hmm. really close by. Mm -hmm. So that's what great. kind of- Right down the street, really. Yeah. So you have a plethora of different people working out, huh? Because yes. you do a lot of training for people who want to compete too, don't you? I train most of my clients compete. Wow. Um, bodybuilding, figure, physique. We have a powerlifting team. Mm -hmm. I try to motivate everybody on every level of fitness because I've done most of it. Yeah. So you mm. cater to whatever they're looking for? You cater to their body type? or I cater to whatever they're looking for, uh -huh. then I educate them on where they are. Okay. Mm. Now, do you include nutrition with all of your... Mm -hmm. Everything comes with nutrition because 
You can't reach your goal just by working out alone. Mm -hmm. Nutrition adds to you okay. getting to your goal. Because okay. what, is, what is the <clears throat> best way to really build muscle? The best way to build muscle is to stay consistent, mm -hmm. for one, and eat on a consistent basis. You have to eat every two to three hours. Oh so my that's goodness, really, that's a lot of food. Really if you true. want to gain muscle, okay. you have to eat. Because oh, when you know. break, when you work out, you break your muscles down. Okay. So what are you filling them up with? Right. Sugar, candy, mm -hmm. sweets, or protein? Pro is it all about protein then? Protein gains muscle. Okay. Muscle. So, so you work with vegans? Yes. Oh, okay. Because mm -hmm. I was about to say I'm not eating any meat. Right. Yeah, I have a lot of uh, I have bodybuilders that don't eat meat at all. They're straight That's vegan. Great. Wow. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I think it would be hard to eat that often. Excuse me. Um, I think it depends on what you're eating. It's just I'm just if never you're that eating hungry. something light or something. What kind of workout are you doing? Right. Uh, She's I all about that yoga life. Yoga. I did weights <laughs> this morning. I do you do what this morning? Yeah, I do weights. Oh, okay. You do I do weights, weights and so. yoga. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And swim. Okay. You might have to turn that up a little bit to uh -huh. make you a little hungrier. Why? Okay. Because I do it first thing in the morning and get a smoothie, then I hit the door mm -hmm. to go to work. So what do you put in your smoothie? Like spinach. Spinach. Yeah. And coconut Veggies. water. Uh huh. And of course, some protein powder. I do protein okay. there. Okay. Okay. That's okay. And then you know hemp seed and that kind okay. of flax seed. Okay. You know all that other all stuff. You do a lot stuff. of powders. What about um. Lentils, mushrooms. I can't do mushrooms. I have allergies. Okay. Oh, but I okay. do like beans. So lentils in a protein. smoothie, you mean? No, just oh, general. Just eating just protein. Eat. Just eat. My mom makes the best lentil soup you ever had. Ooh. <laughs> I had to throw that out there. I like, I like hummus. Yeah, yeah I love hummus. Mm -hmm. I love yeah, hummus. so a lot of different forms of protein. Okay. Too. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, tell my mother. Mm -hmm. So now, is your age range every... Oh, because your mom <laughs> likes meat. Is that what you're No, said? she's always like, do you get enough protein? I was like, Aww. yes. <laughs> no, you're not weak. <laughs> you can tell. You look healthy. Too. Um, so, so you start with children, or uh, what is too young to even start weight That's training? That's a good question. Okay, do I start with children? Uh -huh. I don't really train a lot of children. Okay, I have some 18 year olds. Okay, uh, track basketball. Mm -hmm. I train them. Um, kids, five, six, seven, eight. I don't really have a lot of children that right. I train. I have uh -huh. trainers that okay. train them. Okay, I have a trainer that. Specifically on children, kids. Okay. So we give them to him. But he does. They don't do muscle training. They don't. No, do weight just training. agility. Okay. Type. Okay. okay. <laughs> because you yeah. see people on social media now, mm -hmm. and they have their kids all. That's you know, horrible. They cut it. I do not want to like, see a seven-year-old with muscles. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think that's the best thing for their growth. Right. Um, doing too much weight too soon. Mm -hmm. I've heard a lot of myths. And I don't know what part is true and what's not, mm -hmm. so I don't do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, but you can train at a young age, but doing a lot of heavy weights at a young age. Right. I don't think you need that. You can use your body weight. You can do push-ups. You can do pull-ups. Okay. You don't have to lift a lot of weights. Okay, that's good. And you only you use pounds. your body as your weight. In right. other words, do enough reps. Okay. To make it, yeah. So that's what about your oldest? Yeah, your like your how eldest. you said you have seventy-year-old. <clears throat> I have a couple. Mm -hmm. They're sixty-nine, husband and wife. Sixty-nine and sixty-seven. They've been with me for about a year, and they're amazing. They Have run you seen seven them miles. Uh, they have seven miles. One day a week, I make them do seven miles. Oh my gosh! And they they train with some of the youngsters now. You mean they That's run cool. seven miles? They don't <laughs> run the whole seven miles straight, right? But they'll stay on the treadmill for seven That's miles. That's phenomenal. Oh, that is nice, really great. Nice. Do they also do muscle? On the treadmill. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, they they work out weights. That sounds a good movie. You know, I watch. <laughs> they do weights as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. They do everything. Okay. Do you have a lot of before and afters? That's all I have. We probably before. should have put some of those up there That's for really motivate exactly. our audience. Yeah. So, what do you think about BMI? Do you think that that should be? Because I always heard that they basically based it on a certain body type and you know sometimes mm -hmm. the density of mm -hmm. ethnic groups right. change you know like uh -huh. you know usually black and Hispanic women don't get osteoporosis as mm -hmm. much because of their bone density compared to Asian and white women right, so right. what is your overall viewpoint on BMI is that something that we really need to look at I don't think so because you just answered it really uh -huh. because they it depends on whoever they is that right. started it. Right. Yeah, everything is geared toward them. Mm -hmm. So we have to create things for ourselves. Right. right. And a lot of things that work for us don't work for them, and right. vice versa. Mm -hmm. Right. So I don't so really use it that. as a major tool. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I do certain things. Uh, being consistent, knowing your own body type, your food, mm -hmm. everything you eat, all of that. I look at that. Okay. What's your lifestyle? You get rest. Mm -hmm. I look at all that right there before I just look at. 
BMI opposed to what they say it ought to be right. to where you are your whole life stuff. And for the okay. two people who don't know what that means, body mass <clears throat> index. <laughs> <laughs> now, so, you know, you... we probably need to take a little okay. short break okay. because we can find out what you were about to yes. ask and also to find out when you first have a new client, what is, what's to be expected That's when good. you first walk up into the gym? Mm -hmm. Am I going to have to get yeah. naked no and you're going to measure me? <laughs> right, right. Like, let me measure you. Let me pinch here. Let me pinch here. Right. So, That's the typical thing. <laughs> so we'll take a short break and we'll come back with Mr. Mitchell of Fat Body Gym. Mm -hmm. And so we can find out more about how we can get in shape. Yes. Be right back. And welcome back to How You Living. So our topic for these shows are about fitness and physical wellness. And, and before we broke, I was going to ask you a question. I can't believe I remembered. Mr. John Mitchell. Mr. John Mitchell is well, our I'm sorry, John Mitchell A. A. John A. <laughs> Mitchell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we got to make sure we got the right one. But do you have, have you eliminated all sugar from your diet? Mm -hmm. What are your feelings about no. sugar? Okay, have so. Have I eliminated all sugar? No. Okay, so what would you, what's acceptable sugar in your opinion? Uh, fruits. Like smoothies? Okay, fruits. Fruit. Um, okay. Strawberry, pineapple, uh, not pineapple. Any kind of berries. Not pineapple, though? It's too much sugar. Okay, mm -hmm. good to know. Like bananas are a lot of sugar, aren't too they? Too much sugar. I don't do I bananas. To, and that's what I need to stop doing, putting bananas yeah, in. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. why I, I stay It gives it flavor, but it's just too yes, much way sugar. Yes, way sugar. Very dense sugar. that's why I'm always sugar. inflamed. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop go. with now my bananas. You know. right. So all kinds of berries, of course. Yeah, any kind of berries are fine. What about citrus? Um, oranges. Like oranges. Maybe one. Okay. Apples. Okay. Apples, Apples are okay, great, Because right? that, that'll add a sweetness okay, to it. Okay, there you go. Right. And that's probably it for me. Okay. You don't eat, you never like um, cheat? You cheat. know, or have like a cupcake every once in a while or a donut? I have. Okay. But I it's, have. It's just, <laughs> you just. Not I do. Right. I have. I have in, in the past well, you get ready for a goal. If you have a right. goal. I don't entertain that. Okay. But if I'm off or it's my birthday or yeah. Christmas, okay. I might go somewhere. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, alcohol, that's another. These are the questions that people are going to want to know. It depends on your goal. Do you have to eliminate all alcohol if you want to be physically fit? Well, physically fit or if you have a goal <clears> to. <throat> okay. You well, if your you goal is to lose stomach. a certain amount of, of weight, then yeah. there's a lot of sugar in most alcohol, right? Exactly. Right. And most people that come to the gym, they want to eat well, but they okay. want to drink wine. They right, don't want to let the right. red wine go. Right. They say it relax them. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to balance that because that'll add weight. Okay. Wine, okay. the sugar. Right. It'll make your weight go up and you're working okay. out hard. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's your goal? What's more important? Fair enough. So you have to cut it off. Okay. Those it, empty calories. And yeah. it takes three weeks to make any changes. Okay. Good three enough. weeks of consistency. Okay. Got now three consistency, is that every day? Or is that but, every other day? Is it true you have to let your muscles rest a day? Is that true? Because no. you don't do that. You work yeah. out every day. No, don't I, you? I, I, my rest day is a swim. Okay, okay. Mm. No, um, you need to rest at least two days a week, okay. but not like every other day. It's not necessary. Some people work out five days a week and rest on the weekends. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. As long as you get some rest. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So when, when, when you have a new client that's coming, how do you assess? Mm where mm -hmm. they are or how what, what is someone do you to pinch expect? The, do you pinch the gut like a lot of them <laughs> make them not. stand on the scale right measure them i do all of that but it depends <laughs> on what they want okay because i want them to be comfortable when they come in so i listen first i let okay. them tell me the goals what they're trying to achieve what they want to do and then i tell them okay this is what we need to do okay. i might get their measurements body fat mm -hmm. weight then we go from there we talk about a plan structure how many days what time money Okay. All of that. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's different, though. Right. So you mentioned you do have older clients. Mm -hmm. Do you okay. have special pricing for, let's say, that they only get Social Security, but they do want to get in, in shape? Well, how I do you deal with that? I don't have any. You don't have a special either. pricing? Or all your clients are wealthy. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> their priority is their, their priority is their health. Right, right, right. So whatever the price is, I work with them. But okay. They, they focus on. So they can pay something monthly versus like uh, one big chunk annually. Well, yeah, it's all monthly. Okay, it's monthly it's anyway. All monthly. Okay. So I mean, because how often should someone like when they're coming to you? Do they come every day, or is it a every other day, or is it really varies on what their goal is? Most of my clientele is three days a week. Okay. okay. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, mm -hmm. basically. Uh, you need you need at least three days a week to really see some kind of results. Right. Mm -hmm. 
if you want to do four, it's even better. Mm -hmm. Two takes too long to see results because right. people want to see some kind of results so they're mm -hmm. quick. Exactly. Things like that. So, so what is the setup of your gym? Because you know how sometimes you would go, because you train them, mm -hmm. are you a one-on-one -on -one or is it a circuit? Because I see a lot of right. circuit gyms now, like, okay, you're doing mm -hmm. this, this, mm -hmm. this, or how do you train? Okay, my prices or personal training type prices, okay. I only have one kind of price. I don't do like group prices and all okay. that. Right. So when the clients come, I tell them what to do. Sometimes they're just me and the client, or sometimes somebody else is there too. So mm -hmm. they don't mind working out together okay. because they'd rather be with another person instead right. of me and them. Right. right. So it helps them to right. be with other people. Right. So they that end up fear. creating a bond yeah. mm -hmm. with the whole group of personal training mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. So they like working out together in a group. So you have three days a week. Mm -hmm. Is it an hour? How much time do mm -hmm. your clients need? Generally an hour, hour okay. 15 minutes. And so that's a combination of cardio and, and strength? Okay, exactly. I'm asking these questions because I'm trying to prep myself. So what you exactly. were asking about, should you do cardio and strength training at right. the same time? Well, do you, do you alternate or can you do, what do you do? That's easy, let me help you. Um, what's your goal? First right, thing so the goal to me, for me would be always firm up, mm -hmm. you know, mainly if firm up, then I'd be happy, you know, okay. have some muscle. I used to, I, once upon a time, I had six pack. Okay. 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 Long time. We get it back. We get so it back. I'd love to, yeah, I would love to do that, you know, firm have some up. muscle, mm -hmm. have some, a little bicep, mm -hmm. some definition in those arms. So you want to look like Dr. Keefer. I don't have a, She's have a my goal. Pack. Hashtag goals. <laughs> so you want to lose a little bit and firm she up. She has a two pack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lose, a lose, yeah, I'd little love bit. to lose. I think, that process, it will be a natural <coughs> progression. You're gonna lose weight, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. So, what I generally do, uh -huh. um, first five minutes, I'm gonna see where you are. Okay. We're gonna might run the stairs, kick the bag. I have punching bags. Okay. We we'll do a little circuit, okay. so I can see where you are. If you're about to fall out, right? Or if you're ready. That's important. A right. lot of trainers don't do have that. Have to assess you and mm -hmm. see where and you are. And you never first. come back because they right. overdid. Some people overkill. Exactly. Yes, I've so been I, down that road. Yeah, I try not to ever That's do important. that. I'd rather go too slow starting out mm -hmm. than too fast. Very good. Yeah. Okay. So after I, I do that, we see where you are. Mm -hmm. Then I set a, a plan for you to mm -hmm. stay consistent. I have some clients that want it when I'm not even there. Mm -hmm. So on the days we don't train, okay, do your two miles. Mm -hmm and 100 jumping jacks or something like okay. that. Mm -hmm. So when we come back, we'll be just that far ahead. Very good. So I'll know what's next. That's very mm. good. Oh, in today's world, do you get a lot of uh, ladies coming in that they want a, a, a good glute? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Glutes are important. <laughs> they, well, they don't want so to get can the you surgery. Really reverse the, can you reverse the damage <laughs> of a sagging butt? Yes. <laughs> let's keep it real. Okay, <laughs> that's very good. You can. So they don't need the Brazilian butt lift. <laughs> exactly. But you have to be willing to work for it. it Absolutely. To Abs now, have you ever seen that machine called the DB method? Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Because I have one at home. Explain <laughs> what that machine is. I don't know I that own, machine. I, every, mm -hmm. on, my, on my phone every morning, I mean every evening, it says 10 minutes on the DB machine. Well, what is that? It is a squat machine. It's a machine that facilitates you make doing squats. It's for your glutes, mm -hmm. but it's a full body. It works out your whole body. It's great, and it's not hard. The hard part is scheduling it, is getting it. Is it better? Is That's it, wonderful. Can't you just what do, do you think about it? Do you feel it? <laughs> yes. You. Oh my God! The last time I did it, I barely could walk the next okay, day. Okay, but the, so do you, you do can it? Feel it three days a week. No, I do not. And that, otherwise, I would have a different report for you today. Right. So that That's is, the key. That is the key. That's the key. You have and, to do And you it. do a 30-day challenge. So do you have one in your gym? I don't have that one, but we have you other have glute like exercises. It. Okay. We have a glute day. So oh, I have so see? many women. I love that. All legs and butt. That's, that's I women. love that. That's yeah. women. I always I said the three. Glute. My yeah. my arms, abs, and arse are the three the three A's. <laughs> I didn't want to say it the bad way, but those are the most I'm important things. Huh? That <laughs> you're welcome to. It's the British <laughs> version. <laughs> the three A's are what most women want to deal with, you know, because those are things that show up. You mm -hmm. know, everything else you kind of camouflage. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. That is so too you can funny. have a three A pro program, and mm -hmm. when you get that one in place, let me know. I'll be over. <laughs> I, I just did a. Um, um, 16, uh, six week program. Really? Uh, challenge. Oh, yeah. Who can lose? And it's, it's quite ironic because all my clients pay me already. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I gave them a challenge. If you lose two pounds in six weeks, so if you get to your goal, whatever your goal is, everybody's different. One lady wanted to squat 205. She made it. So I challenged them 
six weeks, I'll pay you fifty dollars. Oh man! So I challenged like twenty eight clients, right. mm -hmm. and I had three clients to do it. And only three? Up. You only had to get out you of one hundred fifty dollars? Well, I made fifteen hundred because oh. you have to pay me. You have to pay me forty oh. if you don't do it. Oh, oh, that's a good challenge. Oh, that would be enough that's for me to challenge. do. That's a great challenge. That's so smart. Uh -huh. right, he's you already don't, set for you Christmas. Don't do it. You don't do it. You pay me. You <laughs> do it. I pay you. That's great. Because I really want people to get to their goal. I really. Yeah. This is personal to me. But I can only do, do so much. Right. That's so, good. So in the midst of all the COVID stuff, did you notice an extreme drop off in your gym? Or were there people still just rocking and rolling? They still came, but COVID was a blessing to me. Did you start doing virtual classes? I did virtual, but um, when COVID hit, I was already in the transition of moving to a different spot. So when COVID hit, a lot of gyms shut down. Right. I started selling equipment. Oh. oh. I started selling equipment, helping people <laughs> build gyms in their garage. Very smart. All that type of stuff. You know so I what? made quite a bit of money. You sure did. We, I have like a standing desk business. <clears throat> and some of them are also um, treadmill desks. Mm -hmm. And so when COVID hit, we sold out. Oh, Everybody right. wanted to get their home, their workout from home. And a lot of them because the company paid for it. Mm -hmm. right. So they didn't have to worry exactly. about it. Well, you had mentioned something earlier saying that it's all about spirituality for you. Right. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Stand in tune with what's going on. As he feeds you, you pay attention because you need to be able to adjust mm -hmm. and pivot when things happen. That's and I'm always open to paying attention. Just because I'm here, mm -hmm. I don't get comfortable because mm -hmm. he's always feeding you. The Bible says God gives you, he gives you the ability to obtain wealth. Mm -hmm. So if I have an ability to do something, I need to pay attention and upgrade it or adjust when things happen. So when COVID hit, I made more money selling equipment and building gyms for other people in their garage wow. than I did in like three months. That is so just smart. Just training. That's you know? very, so, so you that's have just an one thing. entrepreneurial spirit all Period. the time. And all that was time. probably a gift that's from God. So, what, so what's the next move with Fat Body Gems? Yeah. Hmm. The, the next move with Fat Body Gems is to keep, keep creating entrepreneurs. Oh. I have uh, quite a few trainers that have their own gym now, and we set it up for them. We're getting ready to do a gym in Umbo. Oh, That's nice. Great. Uh, one of my female trainers, one of my best trainers. She's getting married, so she's moving to Umbo, so we're going to put a gym out there for her. Very nice. Um, I got an expo coming up. Oh. I've got a lot of entrepreneurs there want to grow that brand. So it's not really about just fat body mm -hmm. gym, mm -hmm. just about fat, period. Right. People having all that. So it's bigger than just the people one gym. People having all that. That's okay. good. Okay. Well, so, people having all that, how can people get in contact with you? What's your, what's all the your best stuff. way? All your yeah. stuff. I guess first, your, your website? Mm -hmm. Website is johnalecmitchell.com. Okay. That'll what was that middle one, John what? Alec? John A. John Alec Mitchell. Alec. Very nice. Very Mitchell. nice, respectable name. I like that. <laughs> and then is Good there a number <laughs> they want to call you, Jim? 832-606-3614. That's the best way. Okay. That's my phone number. Okay. You can just call me direct. Okay. And we, we'll be putting all this when okay. when this yeah when this is aired, it'll be up. And what do you know? Do you remember your social media, Instagram, or mm -hmm. anything, so they can people can kind of mm -hmm. yeah. see the before and after? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have three Instagrams. Um, of Fat nineteen eighty nine. That's my main Instagram. Fat okay. nineteen eighty nine. I have the Mitchell Collection. Okay. Uh, that's the clothing line. I have Fat Boy Movers. We have a moving company <laughs> as well good. too. So you so. do have a lot of He's business. He's I love that. He's That's a renaissance fantastic. man. Yeah, we need that. We really need more of that. Because so we have more gifts than we give ourselves credit for. Absolutely. We're afraid to step out and go and, and challenge things. So do you so also do like stuff. life coaching? Because I know, that's, that's what, what it sounds like. I, I do, but I don't, I don't use that title. Okay. Because really like, people abuse that title. Yeah, I agree people. with yes. that. Everybody's but if I can not help a coach. Somebody, yeah, we have a Bible study at the gym, very things good. like that. Very oh, I need nice. to come to Bible study. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah. Well, we thank you very much. Thank you. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. I need to get my butt on over there. Let me know when you get the 3A program. <laughs> I'll be over there. I'll be there for the 3A. I'm going to work on that. I'm going to be there. <laughs> I'm just, he's going to tell me to eat. Yeah, he, no, he's going to say, yeah, eat, so, eat a few more times a day. Like, Arr! But we want to thank uh, John A. Mitchell for being our guest John today. John Alec Mitchell. We really needed this. We really did. Yeah, we're going to, I love that name. I That's know, it's nice. It's very nice. proper. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so we know how to reach you, and absolutely, when we post this show, all of your information will be there as well. Thank you so much. So I we appreciate, appreciate you. Appreciate so hopefully we, this is a motivation for people to start 
getting Absolutely. physically active. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Go to his social media. And you're never and too young and never too never old. Never too old. Yeah. Mm -mm. That's true. So we got, guys, we're going to wrap it up, but we hope to see you again next week. In the meantime, we're going to ask, as always, how, how you, you living? living? Peace. <laughs>